ఓం అప్యాయంతు మమాంగాన్ని వాక్ప్రాణశ్చక్షుశ్రోత్రం అథో బలమింద్రియాణి చర్వాణి సర్వం బ్రహ్మోపనిషదం మాహం బ్రహ్మ నిరాకుర్యాం మామా బ్రహ్మ నిరాకరోత్ అనిరాకరణమస్తు అనిరాకరణమే అస్తు తదాత్మని నిరతేయ ఉపనిషత్సు ధర్మ తే మయి సంతు తే మయి సంతు ఓం శాంతి 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 లాస్ట్ టైం వి రెడ్ ది ఫస్ట్ మంత్ర అండ్ టచ్ ది సెకండ్ మంత్ర సో let us go back to the first mantra to catch up with the state of mind of the questioner it is through the questioner that the answer will be received guru will speak to that listener that shishya who has fitness as described in the first mantra so the first mantra was కేనేషితం పతతి ఓం కేనేషితం పతతి ప్రేషితం మన కేన ప్రాణ ప్రథమ ప్రైతి యుక్త కేనేషిత వాచమిమాం వదంతి చక్షుశ్రోత్రం కౌ దేవో యునక్తి we found that an element of the answer is already present there kau devo yunakti some conscious being some consciousness some type of conscious being or some type of consciousness is the answer of his question some type of consciousness is there but what is that what is its real nature what is its full nature what is its relation with me how i have to catch it how i have to realize it how i have to grasp it as my own reality that is the question so this my mind by somebody's desire becomes as if directed and goes to its object my mind mind is that instrument which cogitates pros and cons and slowly comes to a decision kena prana prathama praiti yukta so kena yukta prathama prana praiti yoked by him my first prana that is my life principle prati goes about doing its function like breathing kene shitam vacham imam vadanti my speeches my vak indriya desired by whom my vakindriya speaks out all these words chakshu shrotram kau devo yunakti my eyes and my ears which god which conscious being which consciousness impels them to go about their business so in that we found that the listener feel that he is somewhere somebody he is not the agent he it is not he who is telling his indriyas or his life principle or his mind to function that is very clear he is very clear that he is not the uh, impeller and is also clear that he has some spiritual height so he is also clear that mind and all organs are material they are not conscious and so they cannot go by themselves shankar has provided several reasons but we are interested in knowing the mind of that questioner 
So to him it is clear they are all material. And so they are, they cannot go by himself, themselves doing their activity. They are there. They are there, but unless somebody orders them, unless somebody by his desire directs them, they won't go about doing anything. So there is some conscious being. This much is clear to him. But side by side, as Shankar said, Samshayvato Yam Prashna, he is a sadhak. He is not fully aware that does he direct by some other method, unknown to me, or simply by his desire they become directed. And he wants to know the real nature of that God, that real, that conscious person, that consciousness. So that is the whole jigs. So in the second mantra, Shankar introduces by telling, Evam Prushtavate Yogyaya Aha Guru. So the Guru sees, we already seen that all the Upanishads are in the form of a dialogue. That is the way the Vedas are giving us knowledge and subtle knowledge, not to be available by reason only. So, that Guru finds that this disciple is a fit disciple to receive knowledge. So, according to his fitness, he is giving him knowledge. We'll find that there are other disciples who have not caught the point, and to them he will tell in different ways. But primarily we are dealing with this disciple with whose question the Upanishad has opened. So, Shrunuyattam Prachasi, listen to what you have asked. Mana adi karana jatasya ko deva. Man, mind and other group of indriyas, including the pranavritti, which God, which conscious being, which consciousness makes them go to their objects and in what way he directs them? This is your question. So the question has been filtered and now the answer. <clears throat> Shrotrasya Shrotram Manaso Manoyat Vacho Havacham Saupranasya Pranaha Chakshusha Chakshuhu Atimucha Dhira Amrita Bhavanti. To understand, to make a full sentence, two words have to be added. You add sins. Shrotrasya Shrotram. Sins. He, he, about whom you asked me. He is the ear. Since he is the ear of the ear, he is the mind of the mind, he has changed the order of the questions. In the question, mind was first. But Guru has, is telling about ears first, and then the mind, he will listen, and then think about. So, he is using the ear first. He about whom you are asked the conscious being, since he is the ear of the ear, since he is the mind of the mind, since he is the speech of the speech, he is the speaking power of the Vakindriya, he who is the life of life force, who is the I of the I. Since he is like that, therefore, so since and therefore have been added to make it full sentence and understand it. Because the Upanishads are like notes. So to complete the sentence, these two words are added. Since he is such, therefore, Atimucha Dhiraha. So, therefore, dhira, ha, the wise men, the wise men, ati totally giving up, 
totally becoming free from, totally ati mucha, free from, what? Nothing is given. So there also you have to imply and add totally giving up identification with the instruments because they are already named. So totally giving up identity with the instruments and pratya asmat lokat pra itya nicely going away fully going away normally this word is used for death huh? but here it cannot be it cannot be nicely going away from this loka now first you have to understand what is loka loka means what we experience as a result of our state of the mind that state of the mind may be due to our karma, may be due to our meditations, may do, be due to our knowledge, but according to the state of the mind, we experience things of this world. That is called loka, the world for us. So the world for us. Now, there was the world for him, asmat loka, this world in which you are asking the question in which I am replying to you, this world of our senses, mind, pran. Totally going away from this world. Transcending this world is the meaning. Coming out of this world is the meaning. So, two things he is doing automatically. Atimucha asmat lokat pratyo by giving up that means as soon as they realize that implication is there na? He, since he is such and such so wise man means those who know it wise man automatically means those who realize this those who do so they only give up their identification with all the instrumentality, including mind and life. They are not, uh, this combination, they are not any part of that combination. So, they come out of that combination. They completely give up identification or attachment to this combination or any part of the combination. They are neither the combination, nor any part of the combination, nor are associated with the com combination. So they come out free. They give it up. When, when they do give it up? When they know. When they understand. Understand is a very poor word. When they experience. When they realize that that God, that Chetan, is the director. And, anyway, we shall see that, he is the director. His only desire gives them direction. And, having caught him, having realized him as you want, that is what you want. So those who can catch him, then automatically they come out of this Indriyas and this combination and they fully go beyond this Pratyav. They give up the identification with the instrumentality and they come out of the clutches of all these things. Asmat Lokat, that means their experience changes, that is the meaning. Their experience changes. Asmat Lokat Pratya means their experience changes. The loka of their experience, the loka of our experience is given up by them. 
So their field of experience, their what they experience, that experience level has changed. That experience level has come out of this experience level. And what has happened to them? What is the result of all this? Amruta Bhavanti. They become immortal. They no longer remain subject to death. They get, Amruta has two meanings, huh? they get such happiness which is not changing, which is not polluted, which is final, which is niratishaya, which is beyond all concept of our pleasure and joy. It is the bliss. That is the one meaning. And the second meaning is they become immortal. So only immortality cannot be the desired goal. Do you know the story of Ashwatthama in the Mahabharata? Bhagavan Shri Krishna cursed him that you cannot die. You have to live like that. He had a special money and that was taken out. All his glory, his stage lost. And people say, with a person, if with dry head, dry hair, seeking oil comes to you, understand this is Ashwatthama, because he is still living. So, immortality bodily cannot be the goal of life. So, he becomes such immortal, that is bliss becomes permanent, unpolluted, so that Amrita Shabda should be used in both the senses. He becomes immortal in such a way that his joy is without any impurity, the joy is without any reaction, the joy is without any end. Permanent bliss, that is what he gets after going away from this loka which we experience. What we experience? That one must remember. Then the full force will come. We experience dirty joy. We experience joy which ends in pain. Joy which is mixed up with impurity. Joy which involves enjoyment which itself is an impurity and which is always temporary, it ends in a reaction of pain. That is our world today. And our world today has hundreds of other imperfections and their effects. As we find in the Gita, one of the characteristics of a man of knowledge is Janma Mrityu Jara Vyadi Dukha Dosha Anudarshanam that the life is full of defects. The life is full of painful defects. So from such world, he has come out. He has transcended. He has left this behind. And his loka consists of bliss absolute. That bliss will, which will never change, which is never polluted. The real joy, the real bliss of life. Not in the sense of longevity, but in the sense that he will realize that he is the self, the director of all of them. And when he realizes that he is the director of all of them, then he will become immortal. And <laughs> one more point later said. <laughs> The sadhak is feeling I, consciousness, indriya. Now by telling is the indriya of the indriya, another thing conveyed is that the indriyas have no place. Let us go one by one. Huh? Shrotrasya shrotram. Ear of the ear. So what does it mean? What is ear? Ear is the instrument by which we listen words. That is the only definition of the word ear. 
Ear does not mean this ear. Ear is a brain center. Settler, a power which helps us, which is, helps us to listen to words. Now, suppose it has listened, but how do we know that we have listened? If I shut my ears, I may not listen, but I know that I shut my ears and I am not listening. If ears are open, I am listening, I am also knowing that I am listening. We have discussed this point, remember? We are seeing. We know that we are seeing or we are not seeing. So, this knowing, without this knowing, what will ears do? The sound may fall upon the uh, uh, ear lobes and so many things may happen. There may be a reaction and all that. But none of the factors are conscious. So without consciousness, how do we know? And so, if ears are the instruments, if ears reveal words to me, Who helps them to reveal the words? Consciousness. I become aware that you have spoken like this. How can ears do that? You know the sadhak is fit. Sadhak knows that the ear is material. Maybe inside, maybe instrument, but it is material. And that is why he is asking which Chetan has desired and directed him. So the Chetan has not only desired and directed him, the Chetan is the only listener. Chetan only knows that the, I am listening through the ears. So the presence of one conscious being or rather one consciousness is the answer. And if that is the answer, then the Indriyas are not myself. That is why he comes out of this shloka. That is why he comes out of this combination. Now if he comes out of this combination, what happens to the combination? Can it sustain itself? Can it, can any combination Without somebody for which it is working, can it work? Can it sustain itself? This is an important point. Combination cannot work for the combination. What will it do? Working for this inert thing. Working for material. Combination cannot work for one of its elements. Same thing. So wherever there is a combination, it is working under somebody's orders and for somebody. So they are very, very less significant in our life, only used as instruments. And another point is, where will be your eye then? Your eye is it conscious? Is it a part of the combination? It cannot be the part of the combination. No. You know you have not directed them, but you feel you are conscious. Whenever I feel about myself, do I not feel conscious being? The disciple is fit. So, this is the starting point of all spiritual endeavors. It starts from the, not assumption, it starts from the position, realization, knowledge that I am a conscious being. Now that consciousness may not be real, may not be by itself, may be a reflection, but whatever it is, I am conscious. So this I am conscious 
you will understand that this I am conscious also because that Deva is lending me the consciousness, that Deva is reflecting in my body-mind complex. So my consciousness is not itself, is not real in itself, it is a reflection of merely. So all this comes under the answer. And that is why he comes out and becomes immortal, gets eternal, unchanging, pure bliss. So, one by one. Ears, mind. Mind thinks, mind feels, mind resolves to do something. Mind means so many things. And such mind thinks. Unless it is conscious, what is the meaning of thinking? Thoughts are only some forms, ideas. Thinking, feeling, there are some forms. So, because of this consciousness, mind thinks. Because of this consciousness, mind feels. Because of this consciousness, mind makes a resolution that I shall do such thing. And so many other things in the mind. So all the functions of the mind, maybe including buddhi and all that, are possible under the direction you have asked which God. So there is a reality which is con not only conscious, but it is consciousness absolute. And that evidently pervades. Otherwise your mind could not have worked. He does not direct by giving some instruction. His wish itself is direction. You have felt that. So, it means that it has infilled all your so-called personality, your entire body, your entire instrumentality, your prana, your mind, all are interpenetrated, pervaded by him, and he is beyond. Unless he is beyond, unless he is not involved in this, he cannot function independently. His function does not depend upon this. All these things are coming by the Guru's answer because the Shishya is Yogya. Vachoha Vacham, coming down to the organs of action. You speak. What will you speak? If you are not conscious of anything, is speaking a merely physical effort, like some pumping wall or pump being pumped. Only your uh, lungs pump the air and it comes out. No. Some conscious effort to communicate certain ideas to others is the speech. Speech means first desire. A material thing cannot desire. Desire to communicate some ideas or some experience. Then only the watcher comes out. Nah. So, desire, experience, ideas, convey to some other being. Then only the watcher comes out. And these are all infilled with the consciousness. Because if that somebody is not conscious, he cannot understand your ideas, then why will you express it? So this expression itself tells us that the you expect, and it is so that the person who is listening to them is also conscious. Now, can be, his consciousness is different and your consciousness is different, then there will not be any understanding anywhere. 
unless there is one consciousness throughout the world, there cannot be any understanding of what are my ideas, even though you speak, you hear my words spoken. <laughs> so, the second mantra is giving so much knowledge that it is telling us there is one consciousness throughout the universe, both in the subject and in the object, and therefore, these ideas, conscious ideas, conscious descriptions of something are conveyed by the sound waves. And the other person, when he catches the sound waves, he catches the thought waves simultaneously. And when he catches the thought waves, which are full of consciousness, his own mind, which is full of consciousness, receives them because the consciousness is same in both places. So, vacho vacham, pranasya pranam. Now, this prana may not have reference to any object, but you are living. Unless you are living, you cannot see, you cannot talk, you cannot work. A dead body is not seen to do any such thing. So, your pranas function themselves. No, not possible. Disciple has already felt it. Does one individual tells the pranas to function, though he knows that he is suffering, his life is full of suffering. So he likes to live this life of suffering. This is an important point. Nobody would have liked to live a life of suffering, but a little experience, little wisdom tells us that the life is a continuous suffering. Little happiness, suffering. Little touch of happiness, suffering. That is what the life is. So why would I like to live like that? Like Ashwatthama? It is somebody's arrangement. It is some conscious being's arrangement. It is some conscious being's desire and it directs me and I do that. So the relation also is automatically being told that you are not there or you have no importance, your existence is of no use, your consciousness is only a reflection, it is one reality of all realities which is at the back of the appearance that you are doing something, that you are living. Prana se prana. That means... Without consciousness, the pranas would not have functioned. So, if prana is the functioning to make me live, the consciousness in the prana is making it function so that I live. That is the connection. Chakshu sha chakshu. Lastly, you bring that I see. Without consciousness, can eyes be aware of what they are doing? Disciple has already felt. So, what the Guru is doing by this answer, disciple has gone sufficiently inside to feel all these things. And Guru is just pushing him still inside. You go inside and you will find the answer yourself. That is the implication of the whole thing. The whole answer is directed to make the disciple go still more inside and catch the self. And if he catches the self, he will understand, oh, it is the self which is the only reality. All these are only tamasha, appearances, playing temporarily, being directed they work. No independence. I have no existence other than as a reflection of that eternal consciousness. 
and that is why this wise man comes out of this identification with the body and mind. So I am not identified with the body and the mind. I am just a reflection of the self. This itself is the coming out. And when he comes out, this loka, his experience world changes. And his experience world tells him that he can never die. Your body dies. Your mind may become old. You will never die. Because you is something constant. And this constant Atman is the only constant thing in the whole world. It is appearing as my you, my I, your I, his I, she, her I, etc. Temporarily flickering there because the body, mind, unit is made. So some flickering of consciousness comes there. So in the second mantra, the whole answer is given. Final answer. Because the result also has been told. It is a final answer is proved by finding that the result also has been told. Dhira, Atimucha, Pritya Asmat Lokad, Amruta Bhavanti. So this final answer tells us full answer has been given. Then what remains? The help to be given to the disciple to really realize the import of this mantra. That is being done. Then another disciple will be taken up. That is a different thing. But with this disciple, only effort will be to give him so many instructions by which he can catch that reality. So the question is about catching the reality. It was not an intellectual question at all. What will the disciple do? Knowing this, somebody is doing something. He is interested in knowing his own reality. He wants to catch that reality. He wants to be related to that reality. And so, correspondingly is the answer that here it is. Go inside. Catch the reality. And then you will understand you are not there in reality. You are a reflection. All these instruments are only shadows like working. All the objects which you see are appearances. They have their own consciousnesses. They have the reflection of these consciousness. And so, yourself is only the glorious person throughout the world. Let us now go to Shankar Bhashya. Shrotrasya Shrotram. He has taken up the first two words because that is a complete class. Shrotrasya Shrotram. Shrunoti Anenaiti Shrotram. Listen by this, so it is called Shrotra. What it means? Shabdasya Shravanam Pati Karanam Shabdabi Venjakam Shrotram. Shabdasya Shravanam Pati Karanam. Instrument for word being heard. Instrument for word being heard is, that means, revealing words spoken by somebody, revealing words coming from somewhere to me, Ishrotram. Shrotram Indriyam. So, and the talk is about the organ which lies in the subtle body, which is generally identified with the brain center, which is not seen by the eyes. That subtle power, Indriya, is what is meant by Shrotrasya Shrotram. Shrotram. It is meant by the word Shrotram. Tasya Shrotram. The Shrotra of that. Apply the same meaning again. Yo yastoya prashta chakshu shrotram kau devo yunakti iti. So the question in the first shloka 
though apparently three, four, five questions, but the question is only this. Guru is telling him that what you have asked is that which consciousness makes me listen to things. So that I am telling, it is the listener of the listener. So yes, to have prushta chakshushrotram kau devo yunaktiti asau. Now, the we, we, men with ordinary fitness, men with not fitness, we feel Asau evam vishishta shrotra dini niyungte iti vaktave. He is asking which God makes him here. So, such a God makes him here. That should be the answer. Description of the God, such a God makes us here, what we hear. That should have been the answer. That is what disciple feels. Also, evam vishishta, this, with these qualities, is the God which employs shrotra and all other indriyas. Iti vaktave, that should have been the reply, nanu etad ananurupam prativachanam shrotra se shrotamiti. But the answer is not corresponding to the question, Shrotra se shrotram. Naisha dosha. Shankar says that is not fault. That is the way answer to be given. Tasse anyata vishesha anavagama. Answer in one line. No? Anyata. In any other way. Vishesha. Any quality of that is not known is not known. That means, how we know that he exists? How we know he's the director? Because we see eyes seeing, so the seeing by the eyes only, hearing by the ears, is the only way he can be caught. He can be caught only through our action of hearing, at the time of hearing, we should analyze, we should find out that I am not listening. I am not asked them to listen. They are not listening by themselves. It is he, the Chetan being. So apart from these characteristics of hearing, where is the other characteristic, his own? He has no own characteristics. So, anyatha vishesha anagmat. Otherwise, his any speciality is not known. Yadi, shrotra di vyapara vetirikte na, other than functions of all these functions, other than that, so vyapara na vishishta, he had some of his own functions. Other than the functions of the combination or the parts of the combination, if he had his own functions. We could have told him such a man. Such a man, we could have told him, told about him. On, Guru could have told only if he had some function of his own other than these functions of the combination. Shrotra di nyokta avagammeta. Then we would have come to know who is Shrotra. Datra di prayoktruvat. A man with a sickle. Datru, Adi. Now, man with a sickle. But is he only the man with the sickle? He is a man. He eats, he drinks, he is fair complexion, he is black complexion, he is tall, he is short, he has so many other functions other than the function of cutting grass. So he could be told, X, Y, Z, he lives in such house, he does this, he does that, and 
such a man also cuts grass. So he has his own functions other than cutting grass. Then we could have told about him. We could have told that he is a, a tall person, a male function, a man, human being, etc., etc., etc. Tad etad tad idam ananurupam pratyavachanam said. If that would have been the case, then this way of telling would have been inappropriate. Inappropriate. That is the year of the year would have been inappropriate if he had some other functions of his own. Not to you. But it is not so in this case. Shrutra dinam prayukta sovyapara visheshto lavitra divadadigamete. Lavitra and that dhatru is same. Cutting grass. So, other than a man who cuts grass, he does eat. He drinks, he eats, he does so many other functions. Such is not the case with this. Only what the Indriyas are doing, then we feel he is doing. Otherwise, by himself, he does not require to do anything. He does not do anything. It is only when the Indriyas function, we feel he is doing. Shrutra dinam evatu samatanam vyaparena alochana sankalpa devasaya lakshanena phalavasana lingena avagamyate. On the other hand, even ears hear and the presence to the mind and the mind then deliberates upon it and then mind comes to a resolution, mind comes to a final conclusion. In that way, we know a thing. Asti Shrotra Devira Samvata. So, by this only we know that not combined with Shrotra, etc., there is somebody. Yet Prayojana Prayukta Shrotra Di Kalapo Grohadivaditi. So by observing the functions of the combination like hearing, we understand that for his sake they are doing all this thing. Gradi Vaditi. Another example. House. House does not live for house. House does not live for the things kept in the house. House lives only for a man to live in. House is a combination. So as soon as we see some combination functioning, we should understand somebody is making them function and they are functioning for him. Other than their function, he has no function of his own. A man does not live in the house alone. He goes and works in the field. He eats, drinks, sleeps. So that is not the case with this person. He can be known only through our functioning of the organ. So there is a common formula. If there is a combination, it is for somebody else. Shrutra dinam prayokta tasmad anurup Avagamete shrutra dinam pravakta. No, 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 no. Huh. Because sangati combination is for somebody else, so we understand that ears, etc., somebody is using, and so it is a right way of telling that he is the ear of the ear. Kapuna atra padartha shrotra se shrotra mitya di. 
what is please implied by telling it is the year of the year nay atra shrotrasya shrotrantarena artha does it actually mean another year year of the year does it actually mean one more year of the year you are not explained like that does it mean year of the year nay atra shrotrasya shrotrantarena artha that cannot be the meaning year yatha prakashasya prakashantarena light does not require another light to light it so like that year does not require another year to listen to it year does not require another year to listen to it so what is the meaning of the word year of the year naisha dosha this is not a fault i am atra padartha the meaning is this shrotram tavat svavishay vyanjana samartham drishtam year we have seen as capacitors of revealing its own objects which are words tattu svavishay vyanjana samartham but that capacity to reveal its own objects shrotrasya of the year chaitanya he atma jyotishi nitya asamvate sarvantare sati bhavati na asati iti when can this function when can this mean anything that revealing its own object called the sound only when the consciousness is present within the shrotra what type of consciousness atma jyotishi self revealing consciousness our consciousness requires another consciousness to reflect not such consciousness self revealing consciousness some self revealing consciousness is necessary nitte permanent asangate not part of the combination sarvantare inside all inside all sati bhavati if such a consciousness is there then this is possible to call it shrotra shrotra na asati iti if it is not the case then this cannot be called as shrotra shrotra ata shrotra se shrotra mityadi upapadyate so in this way shrotra se shrotra becomes rational tatha cha shrutyantarani so this is what all the rishi say in burdarana upanishad atmana eva ayam jyotisha aste a question is asked by what light you live the answer is by sun's light in the morning by moon's or fire's light in the night but suppose that is they are all dark then by whose light then my vani when i talk people understand where i am what i am so by that light but when you sleep in dream also you see objects that is by what light so you yourself are light and by that light you understand things even in dream so atma jyotishi is supported by this class tasya bhasha sarumidam vibhati when appears when not when as it is shining everything else is shining as it is revealing everything else is revealing so this is from katapanishad also shata shatar also mundan 
येन सूर्य तपते तेजसा इद्धा सन इज हीटेड अप बाय इट्स तेज वेन डज ऑल दिस बिगिन बिकॉज ऑफ हिज लाइट इज देअर इन द सन इत्यादी श्रोत इत्यादी श्रुत्यंतरा इत्यादी श्रुत्यंतरा यदा दिगत तेजो जगत भाषेते किल सो गीता आलसो टेल दिस सन रिवील्स all everything of this world by his light sun reveals all the objects of the world not by its own light kshetram kshetri tatha krishnam prakasheti bharat so the kshetri reveals everything in the kshetra that was told in the gita इति च गीतासु काठके च इन कठोपनिषद आलसो नित्यो अनित्याना नित्यो अनित्याना चेतन चेतना कठोपनिषद आलसो इज टेलिंग ही इज परमनंट रियालिटी ऑफ ऑल इम्परमनंट ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑल इम्परमनंट ऑब्जेक्ट्स he is the permanent reality of them all and not that he is the consciousness of unconscious being everything is flooded with consciousness then only we see them then only they see us then only they retain their shape because consciousness is there so not uh, mechanically to listen to the next sentence katake cha nitya nitya naam nityo anitya naam chetana chetana naam not achetana naam so those which appear chetan he is the source of that chetan iti श्रोत्रादी एव सर्वसात्मभूत चेतन प्रसिद्ध तदीय निवर्त सो बाय टेलिंग दिस वॉट एज अपन दैट माय इंद्रियाज ब्रेन सेंटर्स आर एनफ टू परसीव दैट इज द कॉमन आयडिया बट दैट इज बीइंग निगेटेड हियर ही इज द ऑर्गन ऑफ द ऑर्गन अस्ति अस्ति विद्वद्बुद्धिगम्यम सर्वांतरतम कूटस्थम अजमजर अमृतमय श्रोत्रादेर श्रोत्रादि तत्सामर्थ्य निमित्त प्रतिवचन शब्द से उपपद्यते स्टेटमेंट एंड द मीनिंग ऑफ दि वर्ड्स आर ऑल रैशनल बिकॉज there is something something means not vague huh? something means we do not know but something which is known to the consciousness of the wise people vidvad purusha buddhi gamyam vidvad the men of knowledge buddhi their intelligence determinative faculty that knows it सर्वांतर सर्वांतरतम दे नो इट टू बी द इनर मोस्ट रियालिटी कूटस्थम अनचेंजिंग अजम अंधिकिंग अजम अनबॉर्न अजरम अंडिकिंग अमृतम अंडाइंग अभयम फियरलेस Shrotra Derapi Shrotra De He is the year of the year also Tat Samarsa Nimittamiti So Shrotra De Shrotra De means The strength of that Shrotra The strength of that Shrotra Which 
enables it to listen is due to this. Is due to this. Something which is of this nature. Iti prachivachanam shabdartha chupapad. So this answer and the meaning of shrotra, the shrotra is correct. Logical. That is the logic. Tatha manasa, so we shall complete this on the next Wednesday. We have tackled the fundamental, even without reading the Bhashya. And through Bhashya now, we'll confirm this very thing. So, answer, you will find that the only value, the only meaningful thing in your life is that self of the self. Catch it. You will become free. You will be free from death. You will have eternal bliss only if you are able to catch the eternal reality which itself is conscious, which itself is bliss, which itself is the reason because of which all these things exist and work. Om Apta Yantum Mangani Vak Prana Shakshu Shrotra Mato Balamindri Anicha Sarvani Sarvam Brahma Upanishadam Maham Brahma Nira Kuryam Mama Brahma Nira Karot Anira Karanamastu Anira Karanam Mestu Tadatmani Nirate Upanishad Sudharma Te Mai Santu Te Mai Santu Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tatsat Shri Ramakrishna Arpanama